SP Community Channel. Today we're going to be looking at a tool, and this tool is called well, it's spelled like this FFUF, which basically means first faster you fall, right? So it's basically a uh, web fuzzing tool that is written in Go and fuzzing well if if any of you don't know what fuzzing means well fuzzing is basically giving an application input and just seeing what it does with it right seeing what the output is going to be so the output might be unexpected or it might be according to your expectations so we'll just provide an input and we just see how the application reacts basically that's what fuzzing is so this little tool over here um, is a fuzzing tool and if in order for you to run this uh, you can go ahead and f download this from right here right over here so I've downloaded this one this package right here it's 2.83 MBs and I'm running it on Kali Linux so it is a pre-built binary so you don't have to go ahead and build it yourself you just basically go into the folder and right click open terminal um, which I already have for you over here so I'm in the ter I'm in the uh, I'm in the folder so what you're just going to do now is just forward slash FFUF and just press enter. So here are all the different options that you have with this tool. Um, so first we're just going to try a very basic scan. Uh, we're just going to do a directory traversal. And directory traversal, if you didn't know, is actually a type of fuzz fuzzing, right? Because you're basically what you do is uh, you append different words in front of the domain. Uh, that words are different, and you just kind of get the response, and you see the response. If it's a 200, that means the directory exists, and if it's something else, then you know, depending on the Error with the code, HTTP code, the response code, uh, it could be anything. So <clears throat> we'll just go ahead and we're just going to try a very simple directory traversal. So we're going to give it as W, that means we're going to specify a word list. So I'm just going to use the user share uh, word lists. And we are going to be going into DR Buster, and I am going to specify the medium. Actually, let me go ahead and have a look what it's called. Yeah, there you go. So I've already opened it, and I'm just going to give it this text file right here because. That is the one that is, I think, most of the videos that you'll watch people using this. So I guess this is the most effective one by far. If you're in a CDF and if you're trying to, you know, do a direct traversal, so always go ahead and try the medium one. Or if you're um, brute forcing a password, go with the rocku.txt. That works pretty good as well with passwords of course now dash w so we have given the uh, our text file the word list that we're going to be using for directory traversal now we're just going to go ahead and give our url um it's going to be dropbox of course um so what else so we're just gonna give that c and you want to specify the first keyword in front of the domain and there you go this is a pretty simple uh, directory traversal command now dash c is for if you want to get the color codes 
that's for dash c and if you do want to specify dash v that's going to be verbose mode so let's go ahead and do that as well so there you go our scan has started and as you can see you're probably seeing a bunch of colors over here and dropbox is a big side and we have like this file even though it's medium it's pretty big for medium so i'm just gonna go ahead and stop it and see the what kind of uh so there you go um so we got 200 for ms 200 means uh the response came okay right HTTP response is okay so that does exist that means offers exist 31 uh that means a different i guess that's for redirect if i'm not mistaken or is it is it 302 mm, we'll have to see but if you get 200 that means response http response is okay and it does exist so this is a pretty basic uh directory traversal um command that you can do with fos So another another thing that we can do with the FFUS, FFUF is uh, we can actually do like get parameter uh, brute forcing. Um, <clears throat> so basically what we do in this is uh, pretty similar to directory traversal and we just go ahead and specify a parameter over here. Now this parameter over here uh, I'm calling it fuzz and we just give it some test value and you can go to give it whatever you want so you can go ahead and you know do this or do whatever right and what will this on what this will do is put different uh keywords in place of the keyword fuzz from the directory uh medium.txt and try to brute, brute force and try to find out uh get parameters so let me go ahead and show you how this is done. Uh, let's press enter, and there you go. It has started, and we're getting some response. So just stop it there, because it's going to run forever. If I don't, and there you go. So this is what it's doing. It's changing the F, the fuzz keyword to different um, different words from the word list and it's equal to 56 that you can specify to anything that might depend on your situation that you're in right that is relative to your situation um so this is like the get parameter fuzzing and what you can also do with this is if you happen to know the parameter uh, a valid parameter so that can be an id right and you can go ahead and put fuzz over here and in this way you'll be able to brute force um, the parameter itself right to see what value is going to give a uh, correct uh, response or a 200 response on so we can go ahead and do that as well it is running so now let me go ahead and stop it right there <clears throat> so as you can see in this situation what it's doing is that i had specified the first keyword after the uh equal sign and so it is assigning different values from the word list uh, uh in place of the first keyword right this is the situation where you actually know a valid parameter the get parameter right so this was another use case for this tool um, so in the same way that we did uh, fuzz the get parameters we can also fuzz the post parameters um, in this case you will go ahead and specify the word list as same you can go ahead and specify any word list that you want and then you have your post flag and then you give your uh, 
parameters uh, for input that you're that that are being sent using the post request. So in this example, you're seeing the admin username password, and we're going to be like fuzzing the password, and then you specify the URL of your uh, of the target website and in this case you have the filter flag which will act as a it will filter out all the this will filter out all those responses that are 401 and so this is for doing the post parameter fuzzing and you can also go ahead and specify the max time flag over here to actually ensure that you run a scan for this much time and then it stops so this is what f ff is used for uh, and it's basically a fuzzer and it and it is really fast because it is written in go so yeah, that is the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and do subscribe to the channel. And that'd be it for today. I'll see you in the next one.